In this video, I'll dive in and talk a bit more about the Infrared P2 Pro Thermal Smartphone Camera. I'll be concentrating more on its use with the macro lens and showing its use in the field of electronic repairs. So if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. As always, links will be in the description below. As I already mentioned, I'll be focusing more on the use of the P2 Pro for electronic repairs. If you're interested in seeing the unboxing of this thermal camera, as well as some more general information, you can check out the previous video I've done on the Infrared P2 Pro, which I'll link in the description as well. So when it comes to using this thermal camera for repairing electronics like motherboards or PCB boards, the macro lens attachment is a must. This macro lens magnetically attaches over the camera and provides a more in-depth and detailed thermal picture of electronic boards and components. Whether you're trying to fix or repair a computer motherboard or a smartphone motherboard, the P2 Pro with the macro lens will help you identify any shorts or faulty points. Without the macro lens, you don't really get an in-depth picture when it comes to motherboards or PCB boards. Now, if there's a short or defective component or circuit, you'll be able to clearly see the heat signature around the problem area and focus in on the precise chip or component which is faulty. The defective component would be much hotter than the rest and would clearly stand out. I don't have a faulty board on hand at the moment, but say for example if I want to check this board for any faults or issues, or any possible shorts, I will take the P2 Pro camera and connect it to the extension cable, and then connect it to my phone. At which point I will be able to use a thermal camera and check to see if there's any hot spots on the board, so I can identify a spot on the board that has a defect or a problem. Say for example on the smartphone board, the SIM reader wasn't working, and one of these chips or resistors was the culprit, using the P2 Pro thermal camera, we would see a heat signature over here on one of the chips or resistors, identifying it as the defective part or component. We basically just hover over the area to see if there's any excessive heat on any of the chips. Now for applications like this, without the macro lens, you won't get a detailed view of the chips or components. So if we take a look over here on these two chips, once I remove the macro lens, we can't see it clear anymore. The thermal camera can be used for other applications without the macro lens, just not for things like this which you need an up close look. Like for example, if I hover over my hand, you can clearly see it without the macro lens. I'm personally not an electronics engineer and don't have the in-depth experience as one when it comes to testing boards with other methods. So for small repairs on boards caused by slight water damage or physical damage, I have found this thermal camera to be very helpful in pinpointing where the problem is and which part or component needs to be replaced. If you're an electronics technician, I would definitely recommend the P2 Pro thermal camera. It's small, portable, and it'll definitely save you a lot of time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.